We are approaching the end of year four here with the Los Angeles Rams. Cooper Cup is having a great season. Almost 100 catches, over 1,200 yards, and now 12 touchdowns on the year with about four games left on the schedule. And today we're facing a team who took us down a couple weeks back in an upset game in overtime. The Arizona Cardinals, we lost 14 to 20 with Damon Craig still as the starter, but now he's hurt. And we're coming off a really nice win with Bolton as the starter and Evans as the starter over two injured players. We had a very banged up offense, but now we're into the bye week. And for this, we're just going to focus on uh, plus 10 morale for all players because I just want to get these guys uh, in a good you know, mental headspace in preparation for the playoffs and for a couple of tough road games, including this one. And... Uh, we are going to get a couple of guys back like Trevor Offord and a couple other players. But I did find out that the in-game rules for Madden are different than in real life for IR. So we're going to have to wait a few more weeks beyond the numbers on the report for Craig and Kenneth Murray. Because if you put a guy on IR, you can't bring them back for eight weeks in Madden. In real life, it's four weeks. But the game is bad. They haven't changed it yet. But here against Green Bay, we lose because Chad Bolton throws three picks. And we did not pick off Trey Lance at all, who is the new head guy over there in Green Bay. We ran the ball well with Herbert, but losing for most of the game, you have to throw it a lot more. And you didn't really get too many chances. And Bolton's picks lead us to 14 points only and a 14-point loss at that. So it's games like this where you're seeing the bad side of Chad Bolton and he's not you know good enough to be the full-time starter I don't believe and uh, another update on the injury report we're gonna lose Zach Evans for a week now as we do get Herbert back but Evans has turf toes so he'll be missing this game against the Cardinals but this team has already taken us down once before and the offense is definitely slowing down these last several weeks only had really one good offensive week the last five weeks and that was the one that we watched last episode so we got to figure things out today and see if we can get back on track on the offensive side of the ball, but Craig is out once again and number 11's under center. Welcome to week 15, folks. It is our final stretch of the season. Four games left, including this one. We enter at 9-4. and four. The Cardinals are 6-7, and seven, but they have Kyler Murray, who gives a lot of teams defensive issues. So what can we do here in a division matchup? You know, last time we faced this team, Kyler Murray got hurt, and the third quarterback came in, Joey Simpson, and they eventually won that game in overtime. So, a win here would be nice, and Murray goes backwards, a loss of seven on the first play. They tried to go with a little designed run for him, and we snuffed that one out easily. On the second down, they're going to do the same thing, and he's going backwards again. Loss of three, Quincy Badsley in the backfield for the stop. They're trying to go with these, like, RPO-style plays and interesting first two calls there. 19 to go on third. Got to get off the field here, defense. Murray's flushed out. He's taken off. He scans and just throws it away. Great job by the defense. Definitely a questionable opening drive from Jonathan Gain. It's Cardinals, but here comes Chad Bolton trying to shake off Three INTs from last game. Definitely his worst game of the season. And it was a loss against a sub-500 Packers team. Got to avoid losses like that by taking care of the football. So what can we do today? We are one of the worst teams in terms of taking care of the football. Like bottom five in giveaways. So we got to really figure out how to lower these INT numbers for both Bolton and Damon Craig. Up to the 43 on second down. Back to Herbert, and he will get five more. Oh, we're showing pass. Empty on third down. Quick throw, and it's off the mark at the feet of Trumaine Donalds. And we waste this opportunity. Had the ball across our own 40 yard line to start the drive, and now we also go three and outs. Got to do better there. That one's on Bolton. That was a poor throw. And now it's the bad punts by Tommy Townsend. Drives to forget for both teams to start the ball game. And in motion, he'll get the 
Little flip pass, but not a lot of room to run. Only a yard here for Hollywood Brown. Stack in the box. They're going to pitch it out. And we miss a couple of tackles. He's breaking one off. Down the sideline, across the 20, and he is gone. Touchdown, Cardinals. Austin Eckler breaks one off to the outside, and he goes the distance. And just like that, Arizona takes the lead. Quinton Lake missed a diving tackle. John Johnston's too slow to catch up. Wow. A 74-yard touchdown run for Eckler. And we're down by a score. Trying to shake off our first three and out like the Cardinals did. Get a nice drive together here. Herbert to the outside. He gets four. And now David Parson goes down on a non-contact injury. That's always nice. And hand it off again. Herbert only gets a couple. Now we got third and two. Alcamezzo out there on the tackle. He's number 53 out there. One of the best up-and-coming linebackers in football. We go back to Herbert. He squirms through and finds a crease for the first down. And who set it down? It's play action. Bolton over the top finds Cup at the 50. His first completion of the day. How to get Cooper Cup involved here. Had a great season so far, over 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns. Want to add to it these last four weeks of the season. Bolton throws it right to his own. No. And we just gave it right back to the Cardinals. And you're seeing the mistakes come out early on for Chad Bolton. Man, he threw it right to him. Tried to force it to Donald, who's right behind Izzo. Like, what are you making that pass for? Damn it. The Cardinals get it back in plus territory to start the drive. Murray in the pistol. It's a play fake. He's going to keep it. He gets eight. Another play fake. Murray's got time and he's got his man wide open. First down across the Rams 30-yard line. Rondell Moore, his first grab of the day. And a new set of downs for the Cardinals. They ended off this time. Eckler's going nowhere. Swallowed up by Warren Terry for no game. Back to the air. And dumped off for Eckler. He's got nowhere to go. Nice tackle by Taron Johnson, I believe. Oh, that was Jaron Curse. Never mind. Similar numbers. Now third and ten. Murray's got good protection, and he's got plenty of time inside the 10. First and goal, Arizona. We've seen this team give us problems in years past. This time it's Deontay Johnson. From the eights. Play fake. Murray flares out, and he's sacked by Hassan Reddick. His first of the day, the loss of six. So that play backs him up. They hand it off. Eckler's got good blocking, and he's inside the five. A 12-yard run down to the two. Somehow, someway, hold these guys to a field goal. Murray's going to keep it, and Byron Young gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. These QB keepers aren't working. So Arizona tacks on three more off the INT from Bolton, and we're down 10 nothing just like that here in the first quarter. And Warren Terry got hurt on the field goal attempt, so no idea if he's going to be out for the game or whatnot. But if he is, that spells even more trouble for this defense because that would leave Dante Childers to come in as the primary nose tackle. Second and eight, Bolton is sacked. Zach Collins goes, no, Zay, who, who, who is that? I don't even know. But Collins goes completely unblocked at a straight path to Bolton, and that is how the first quarter ends. And the Rams look lost out there on both sides of the ball right now. Arizona in full control. So now we've got third and 16. Bolton, pressure from three different players. 
And he's taken down. We have to punt again. There was pressure allowed by the left tackle, right tackle, and right guard on that play at the same exact time. This gave Bolton no chance to get a clean pass off, man. And now the Cardinals start to cross their own 40 on their next drive. Already up by two scores. Murray's going to keep it. He trips up over his own man. And he's going to lose five more. Keep doing these QB keepers because they're going to keep us in this game if they keep running these. It's going to put Byron Young now in the zone. Trip spot him on your screen. To the air. Quick throw. They only get three out of it. Aaron Curse on the tackle. 12 to go on third. Very early chance to get off the field and get it back in the offense. And yeah, we do just that. Asan Reddick gets his second here in the first half. That's more like it. Bring the pressure. Make Murray sweat. We got to move the ball here. You simply have to. You can't win the game if you can't get across midfield, man. Got to start putting together a couple of first downs in a row. But pressure from both teams is causing issues. And an unblocked defender gets right to Herbert for a loss of three. Holcomb just got there with nobody in front of him whatsoever. Players like that give you no chance. Back to our 28. Bolton steps back, has pressure, and he takes the sack instead of throwing the damn ball away. We're just not giving ourselves a chance right now. Playing the, uh, playing the way we are. Bolton allows pressure immediately. We just hit a screen on third and 28, and it didn't work at all. Punt again. The past five or so weeks, the offense has considerably slowed down. Even when Craig was in, we lost the two games before he got hurt. Put up 14 in both of them. So this is nothing new these last couple of weeks. We did obviously play very well in our showcased episode last game. But besides that one performance, the offense has not done anything since around week 10. Eckler gets a gain of six here and gonna bring down, bring up third and eights. He's gotta try and get off the field here, but we're asking way too much of our defense time and time again. Back to what we hated the first couple of seasons, and Murray steps up, and Ernest Jones just waited for him to cross the line the game before he even steps up. It's plays like that where you have to have better awareness and make that choice sooner. You just watched him walk up to you for the first down for about 10 straight yards. How do you not step up there and try to sack him or I even sack him, just get, get a tackle? It's another loss of yardage for Murray. Like we are all over these RPOs and whatnot. They're just not working. But back to the 50 on second down. Murray pressure to his, he threw it. Warren Terry is back out there, so he is okay. Thank God. Would have been a big blow to our run defense. Now another third and long. Murray pressured and taken down again at the third for Hassan Reddick. This pass rush has come to life these past two games that we've watched. But right now it's not making a difference for the offense. Our next drive begins from our own 20 yard line. Don't know what to expect. Want to see something good, and there is something good. Herbert up the sideline across the 45, and Arizona territory to start the possession. All right, well, that kick starts something for this offense. Let's get this moving here, and we just had a false start. So, oh, damn it. Come on, man. Like, we never have these penalties, but now we do after our best play of the game. Damn, back to the 48 we go. That was Wills on that penalty. We hand it off. Up the guts. Herbert. It's back beyond the original line of scrimmage. In the gun. We've got like no passing yards, man. And Cup's not going to add more to it. He's going to lose two. What are these plays? We have 11 total yards all to Cooper Cup. Throw the damn ball and get it away, Bolton, for Pete's sake. He's pressured. He's just going to toss one up. And it's broken up for Offord. We can't do anything. He's two for freaking six. 
At least it was a good punt by Tommy Townsend. They're inside their own five. What a sickening performance so far, though. I, I just can't make sense of Chad Bolton, man. Some games he looks great, and some games he literally cannot complete a single pass. I don't get it. From the end zone, Murray completes it to the five. Third and eight coming up. We just used our first time out of the half. And he gave us a chance to march down the field to end the second quarter. They're going to run the ball. Eckler gets four, and now they're going to punt. We're going to have the ball at like the 50-yard line. We've got to make do with this next drive, or else we are not going to win this game. We're going to start from the 41. A minute 46 and one timeout. Bolton, you got to show us something here, man. You had three picks last game. You've already got a one today, and you've got two completions for 11 total yards. We need to do something. He's back to throw. Good initial protection. He's got a man wide open. It's Reinhardt. The rookie tight end. Has not had much, much to do this year because he's been hurt over half of the season. They finally get the ball to him. Bolts in. Crossbody throw. Complete the cut for nine and a half more. Just shy of the 35-yard line. Bolton, another quick one, and he throws a pick. Down. I'm not sure we're going to win this game. Despite the defense playing well. I'm just not seeing it right now. We can't do anything right now with Chad Bolton under center. Two horrible throws to receivers that are just completely covered. They've already got a field goal off one of them. And they're going to have a chance to end the half with another score. From their own 38th. Murray, sacked by Warren Terry. We are getting to him several times a drive right now. Three sacks for Redick, now one for Terry. A six-yard loss that might just end this first half. Going to have to run one more play. It's going to be a pass. A screen to Eckler. Good blocking. He fakes out Richards, but he has to go out of bounds. Two seconds to play. Until the break. They might just hand the ball off here. And they will. Eckler wrapped up. No gain. And we're at halftime. 10-0 Arizona. Number 11 has got to get this shit together, man. This is bad. Start of the second half. I mean, really, the, the three, you know, game-changing plays were a huge run by Eckler for a touchdown and the two picks from Chad Bolson. Without those plays, there's no telling who's in front, but those three have been the difference maker in this game, and we got to play better football here in the second half. We've seen this team play better in the second half in some of these games, but we've also seen them play better in the first half in some of these games. So with the tale of two halves, I'm hoping we are in store for a better one here. We lose a yard in the first play, then we get even more to Cooper Cup for a first down, gain of 11. But Bolson just 5 for 10. And four of his five completions have gone straight to Cooper Cup. you got to get somebody else involved here by not forcing them the ball. And we just can't get anything on the ground with uh, Herbert right now. Another just one-yard gain. A lot of holes opening up from this offensive line today. We saw plenty last game with Zach Evans as the main back. But with Herbert, it's not happening. Cup hangs on after a big shot, but... Help the seam, he gets eight more. Third and two. Just shy of her own 45. Play fake. Bolton has good protection. He's going to launch it down the field, and he throws it off the hands of a defender. And we're going to punt once again. Another wasted drive. Going to give the ball right back to the Cardinals. Same story as the first half, funny enough. Now they got it up by 10. Eckler on the ground. Taken down by Richards, and now Quincy Baznight's hurt. 
give me a break. Nothing going right for us in this game at all. Not a single damn thing. We're going to do a delayed fake handoff. They keep doing these. He's got negative 10 yards. What do they think is going to happen here? The play calling on both sides has been really bad. These offenses just look horrible. And he's going to go down again. This time it's Aaron Donald and Michael Hoyt teaming up for the sack to end the Cardinals' drive. We start from our own 37. And Herbert has nowhere to go. We can't run the ball. We can't pass the ball. What can we do? I'm not sure, but all I know is that we saw this exact same thing from Bolton last year where we had a couple of good games and a couple of the really questionable ones like this one right here. This is a horrible game from him. I'm sorry, but it just is. This gives you no indication that he is ready to be a full-time starter over Craig by any stretch of the imagination. You barely get the first down by the skin of our own teeth. Just a handful of yards shy of the 50. Going four wide, quick throw through the hands of Donald. 63 yards on seven completions. It's not going to cut it. Back to throw again. Out. And incomplete for Reinhardt. Off the mark. Now we got a third and long. Couldn't convert a third and two last possession. Can we do a third and ten? Good protection. He's got time. And a once again... It's batted down by number 40. First, Bolton overthrows a pass in the last drive, and now he underthrows one for a wide open receiver. From the 14, Eckler cuts it back inside and only gets three yards. Has barely had any carries, but has done what he can with the most of them. Guess I've already over uh, 100 yards thanks to the big play in the first quarter. That pass is offline. I mean, Murray is not even passing the ball well either. He's only had 10 attempts, but really low yardage per attempts. Like four yards an attempt, I'm pretty sure. And now he's taken off. He breaks a tackle from Ernest Jones. How do you allow that? How, Ernest Jones? There's no way. You just got stiff one by that guy this small. Wow. Wow, that is embarrassing, dude. I am sorry. Like, they have played well this game, but that is a sorry tackle attempt. Wow. That is embarrassing. I I cannot believe that. New set of downs, though. They're going to keep it. And Murray's going to gate a couple of yards for, like, the first time on one of those kinds of plays. Back to throw. He's stepping up, and he's taking off again. Like, how does he get this much? And he's taking off here again. But he's sacked this time by Drake Jackson and company. That's the first time we've ever seen Drake Jackson make a play. Comes here in week 15. But a loss of two brings up second and 12. Back to Eckler, wrapped up from behind by Donald. That saves any yardage from... Put on the stat sheet. Now they're third and long for the Cardinals. The defense... Give the offense like their 10th chance of the day. Not this time. First down inside the Rams 30. At this point, can you really blame this defense? They've been on the field the entire game, dude. Like, they are probably gassed as all hell out there. And they've only allowed 10 points so far. They've played well. Besides that one play from Eckler. And they at least hold him to a field goal here, though. Another big third down chance. They bring the house. Murray is sacked! Big one from Donald. Loss of nine. Back to the 36, or to our 36, rather. We're going to head to the fourth quarter. Field goal attempt coming up. 
From the 36, the kick is up and it is good. The Cardinals lead 13-0. So Butker nails the 53-yarder, but we still got to score twice to win this game. That has not changed. We still have nothing on the board. Quick drop back, and Bolton is incomplete. Trying to go to Offord. We have been the pretty much the top passing offense the entire year until today. That's always great. Just no passing yards to speak of. We're dumping the ball off now for a loss of yardage every drive. This is just one of the most embarrassing games we have ever watched. Which is a tall task to meet. Almost got a guy offside here. We don't get it off in time. And he's off the mark for a wide open receiver. Come on, Bolton. I am begging you, man. Look at that. We're back on the field for some defense. They have got to be gassed out there, man. In the pistol. Play fake. They launch it over the top. It's caught. And they're already up to our 25. Rondale Moore. His second grab of the day. And it goes for a huge gain. This game's over. It's over. It's been over since the first quarter. Since they went up 10-0. Maybe it's at 7-0 because we're probably not going to score in this game. From the 25, QB keeper, and he's planning for a loss of three. Just a flashback to last season, man. It's the same thing all over again. At least we're still piling up some sacks, but it's not making enough of a difference, even though it should with the score being this low. It's just, it's just not. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for this defense. I, I truly, truly am because they they should be given more than than what this offense has given them. Another sack. Warren Terry, then Byron Young, and we're going to force a punt after all of that somehow. I mean, that's just fantastic stuff. But you can't win with one side of the ball doing all the work. I'm sorry, you just can't. And now we're going to be back inside our own three. Are you kidding me? Surely a safety's coming up. I'm not sure I even want to watch this. Herbert's up to the seven. Gain of five. I just feel like we're going to get, you know, one or two first downs. And then we're just going to have a pick. Or it's not going to go the way, the, uh, way that we think here. They bring the pressure. And there it is. There's the safety. Malcolm Izzo, unblocked, up the gut. Bolton hangs onto the ball, and wow. 15-0, and they're going to have the ball here in a moment. Here's the punt from Townsend. I'm just sick to my stomach watching this game, folks. God, man, they're 6-7. They don't have a, a good defense. They just don't. And in both games this year, with Craig as well, we're going to lose both of them. We're going to put up less than 15 points in either game, too. Just embarrassing stuff. And despite the constant pressure, it's not enough. Just lucky these, these defensive players haven't quit on this entire team yet because despite our record being good just like last year, these games are still happening and they shouldn't. We should at least have one touchdown and a one field goal on the board right now, but we don't. And now they have a man wide open. What is this busted coverage? What in God's name is that? What? I have never seen anybody that open what in God's name Don Johnson just completely walked away from this dude uncovered what an embarrassment of a team this is man like I I don't care what we've seen the rest of the season to come out here and play 
This horrifically is unacceptable. Worst box score ever, bar none. 92 offensive yards gained, two turnovers. We somehow had more than five first downs. Literally don't know how. We sacked Murray 10 times and we, we still gave up 25 points and lost. Chad Bolton, a rating of 11.3. I mean, I, I, I've i never seen something this horrible. Literally never. 63 yards, nine for 26, 2.4 YPA. Like this is four sacks for, for Redick. Didn't matter one bit. All it did was make it a 25 point game instead of a 40 point game. Joe Styles out again. Like what the hell is with these rookies, man? Offered Reinhardt and Styles all injured multiple times this season. Reddick does get player of the week for his four sacks, but I mean, how is she going to feel about that? Probably not very good. Now we're facing the four into Seahawks, but now I am just not confident whatsoever. And we could still lose this division because the Niners and Cardinals are now only two games back from us. We do have a breakout defensive lineman one about Warren Terry. That's good. We're going to sit in this game right now. But these last two weeks are just so disheartening. So we can just see what happens against Seattle and complain about that game if, if we lose. Which we do. Uh, once again, after out getting the opponent, we throw two picks. It looks like, and we lost. Tim Howell, a buck 20. Didn't play very well, but Bolton played worse. Two touchdowns, two picks. 20 for 34, and we lost. Played well against the ground game. Herbert, though, didn't do shit on the ground. Cup of both touchdowns for us. But once again, we throw two more INTs, despite big sack numbers from both Donald and Reddick. Once again, we lose the game. 23 to 14, and we've put up 14 points or less in Five out of our last seven games. And now we're here, and the Niners are catching up, and we play them next week. Now we play Dallas this week. Can we even bring Craig back off of the injury report? We can't. So as I said towards the start of the video, um, the game is bad, and they have not changed the IR rules to match real life NFL, so they're using the pre-COVID IR rules, which is just insane because that was many, many years ago and they're still stuck so far in the past despite it being Madden 24. So we have to wait until it's been a full eight weeks that Craig and Murray have both been on IR before they can come off. And it's not going to be until I believe the last week of the season, so we have to wait until then. And regardless, this was still a very dis disappointing episode. The team definitely is not where they need to be to feel competitive in a playoff atmosphere because you cannot count on coming back from a, a two-score lead like we did against the Bills and Chiefs earlier this year before this game. We also went down by two scores against the Cardinals too, so you can't just just count on, on being down early and then coming back later in the game. It's just not how it works. So we got to figure out if it's the play bug, if it's something else, but the defense also is showing some holes. Maybe a uh, change of some kind is needed there too, but I'm definitely looking at safety this offseason to replace John Johnson because holy crap that played in that Cardinals game was one of the worst I've seen but that's my analysis those are my takes and uh that's the episode folks thanks for watching as always please like subscribe comment down below and I'll catch you guys next time all right see you guys there peace